Not everything can be expressed inside of a component. When developing, documenting, and testing component libraries, the shared environment around a component is a huge factor. Parameters are a feature that we use to codify and control environmental concerns that can't easily be encapsulated into our components. Let's dive into Storybook Parameters. Parameters control Storybook features and add-ons. You can think about it kind of like this. Ours control everything that is inside of a story or the component, and parameters control everything that's outside of the story or the rendering environment. Today, we'll use Storybook 7's Backgrounds Essential add-on to learn how parameters work. But once you understand the patterns, you can apply this to any of the community add-ons. In Storybook 7, we have a background selector button. By default, it has light and dark colors. Let's extend those for our primary button story. Find the primary button story, add a parameters property, define a backgrounds object to set our background options, and place some values. I'm defining black, dark, light, and white. And when we open the backgrounds dropdown, we see all four options. Note that because we only defined them at a story level, we won't see them on other stories. If we want parameters shared across all of our stories, we need to move them from an individual story up into our story meta. In our story file, I can take this entire object and just move it up to the default export. Now, all of our stories for this component have these four options available, but other components do not. If I go to the page component, we only have light and dark. Now, in this case, we want these parameters available at a global level for our entire storybook. So we need to hoist them outside of our component meta up into our settings slash preview module. Cut the parameters that we defined inside of our component story. Open the storybook preview file where we hold global configuration and paste them inside this parameters object. A quick refresh in our browser, and now all of these backgrounds are both available and synced across all of our stories. Now, a quick word of warning, the module syntax that you're seeing in this preview file is Storybook 7 specific. So if you're using Storybook 6 or have migrated from Storybook 6, you may be seeing a different preview syntax. I have a link documentation in the description below for Storybook 6 syntax. So there you go. You've learned all of the basics of storybook parameters. You've learned how to write them and define them at the right level, story, component, and global. We did all of this inside of the Backgrounds Essential add-on, but this is really just the beginning of what you can do with parameters. If you'd like to see how you can use parameters to control the viewports in Storybook, well, you should check out this video right here where we dive in deep into viewports. That's it for me. Subscribe for more videos, like and comment if you learned something new today. Thanks as always to Chromatic for sponsoring this video. I'm Fantastic. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.